Hello guys and thanks for watching my series of tutorials about Samsung Smart TV applications development. My name is Konstantin and I am part of the tvappsdevelopment.com team. The first tutorial is focused on setting up the development environment. So let's start. First you need to download and install the Samsung Smart TV SDK. You can download it for free from the Samsung Smart TV Apps Developer Forum. Just go to samsungdforum.com and navigate to SDK and then SDK download. But first you need to create an account and login. If you already have registered, just login. Since I'm already uh, logged in, I can go directly. Then scroll down and the first thing we need to download is the SDK Integrated Development Environment. Depends on your operating system, select one of the items. For macOS, I'll select this one. The second thing you need to download is the SDK Emulator image for VirtualBox. If you don't have installed VirtualBox on your machine, you can download it for free from Oracle's official website. Go to oracle.com and in the search field type download VirtualBox and press enter. Select one of the items. For macOS, I'll select this one. You also need to ensure that you have installed Java Runtime Environment 1.7 or higher. If you are not sure which version you have or uh, don't have Java installed at all, you can start the terminal and type java space dash version and you can you can see the java version installed on your computer if you have uh, if you don't have java runtime environment version uh, 1.7 or higher you can download it for free again from the Oracle's official website. Just go back and type download Java. You need Java Standard Edition and not the Enterprise Edition. So select the second result. Then choose to download the Java Development Kit and before you choose select uh, to accept the license agreement and then if you are using Mac select this item That's all you need to download to start developing applications for Samsung Smart TVs and this is the end of these tutorials. We'll see you in the next one. You can also find more video tutorials on tvappsdevelopment.com. Thanks for watching.